You know it's going to be a pretty fun day when you get to fly for $100 tacos here at Arcadia, Florida. Now we're going to fly the brand new TVM 940 back to Pompano Beach. Here we go. Alright everybody, welcome aboard. We have Wayman on board today. Wayman, thanks for having us on board the TBM 940. This is a brand new one. We just had an awesome hundred, couple hundred dollar tacos. Now we're going to head back to Pompano Beach. We'll start this thing up. Let's go. Just letting the systems all boot up here. Oral warning okay. Alright, let's do our engine start. Sounds good. Ignition auto. Ignition is in. Yep. Boost pump on. Boost pump is coming on. We hear the pump. Master caution. Cast message. Prepare the clear. Starter. So I'm going to hold the starter for three seconds. Go. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Release. Check. Now it has started a timer. We're watching the NG rise up. Okay. There it is. Reduce the fuel to low idle. Now we're watching our light off. We're watching the ITT for hot start and the NG for a hung start. This is the G3000 avionics package. That's right. Smooth engine start, 40%, second set of injectors. Then we have a rise. 50% to sequence off. Alternative battery is charging. Let's go to high idle. There's a 42 second engine start. Not too bad. taking off VFR today here out of uh, Arcadia and we're gonna be picking up our IFR flight clearance in the air. That's right Steve we called right before we started we called Miami Center on the phone and we, they gave us our squad code 4662 so we don't have to punch it in while we're trying to climb and looking out for traffic so that makes it a lot easier. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready we can start taxiing. Okay and it's clear at the front Clear to the right, clear to the left. We'll do a left turn off the ramp out of here. Put our flaps to the takeoff position setting. And if you look out at the wings there, we'll check flight controls. Clear to the Free and up. correct. Okay. And we'll go taxi down to runway 24. If you guys do like these videos, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel. Ring that little bell and that'll notify you when I upload a video. Pretty exciting to be able to fly a brand new TBM 940 today. And wait a minute, it's always fun being able to fly with you. Well, thanks. A lot of fun to fly with you also, Steve. Uh, Wayman, actually, over to the left there off the wing, there's an the area back there behind the hangars. You can camp here, and they have a taco truck that comes in on Tuesdays. Great aviation atmosphere here. And Wayman was the one that suggest suggested to have me fly in here to experience that. Well, thanks for coming over, Steve. It's great to bring the TBM. It's a nice little 40-minute flight. And we're going to arm the auto throttle here. And with the auto throttle on this takeoff, after I advance the power past 70%, the auto throttle will kick in and take over and set our takeoff power for us right up to 100%. Got it. It, it makes uh, takeoff and flying the airplane very easy. So here we are holding short of 2-4. Wayman will do the radios for us today. Arcadia traffic, uh, TVM 940, 
Bravo November, taking off runway 24 southbound Arcadia. All right, sounds like we are got the uh, runway to ourselves here, so clear on final and clear down the runway. We're going to take off and we'll turn left on course. We're going to line up here in center line. Here's where this auto throttle comes in really handy. So I'm going to hold the brakes here. I'm going to ease this power up and we'll hear a click rate around 70%. Right there. Now I just release off my hand off the throttle and it's going to just set, take off power right to 100% just perfect for us. I'll still keep my hand there just in case something happens and we need to abort the takeoff. Well, temperature pressure's all look good. We're waiting for our rotation speed. 85, 90, rotate. And there's our rotation speed. Gear up. Gear selected. Checked. Uh, a lot of birds out there, I see. Yeah. So I gotta be aware of that. There's yeah. a ton of them over here. 115 knots, flaps up. Okay. Hold on. Well, I mean, we got like 20 birds all right in front of us. Oh yeah, let's let's go around them. There Very good. Go. Wow. If you look off the left wing, you'll have seen all those birds. Yep. Flaps up. Selected. Le let's go left turn on course. Arcadia traffic. TVM 940 Bravo November. Turn left crosswind. Arcadia. Yeah, that was that could have been bad news if we would have continued right on course right there with all those birds. Indeed. But we got it around them, so we're good to go. Arcadia traffic, uh, TBM 940 Bravo November, department traffic pattern. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much for your help. Okay, let's contact Miami. Descending 15,000. Oh, put the, go in the nav mode, put the autopilot on. That was 389 Romeo off at 16 seconds. We're going to climb in flight change Romeo mode. Center, thank you. Uh, fly your present heading vectors for military airspace. Uh, Which puts center, us right to 124, 124 knots nine, in the climb. We'll go up to 7,500 for now, which is a VFR altitude for eastbound. Excellent. Miami Center, TBM 940 Bravo November, 4,000 out of Arcadia. One second for me. I am using the pivot leg strap today with the iPad mount. Comes in really handy. If you look down here at the iPad, you'll see there's where we just took off in our little breadcrumb trail. And that's our routing down into Pompano Beach. And we do have some pretty big storms down there, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. We might have to shoot the approach. 1,000 to go. If you guys are wanting to buy some pivot uh, iPad cases or mounts, be sure to use Stevo on Kinevo as a discount code, and you'll save 15%. They make some great products. I like that system a lot. Can you give me the call sign? November 9 or 4, 0 Bravo November, 7200 feet VFR. Are you looking for flight following? Uh, pick up IFR to Pompano. I just said bye. Did you follow a flight plan? Yes, sir, it's quacking uh, 4662 at this time. I just said bye. So we're leveling out at okay, 7500. And the auto throttle is adjusting the throttle like just perfect to. Uh, not over Number temper, over toward the engine. Contact Jacksonville Center, one three five point seven. We're gaining speed now. Thirty five seventy five, go go. It's pretty cool to see the throttle all move all on its own, and it's just the whole system for you. This Getting airplane also has the home safe feature, Getting which is a really amazing piece of technology that just came out recently. If you're flying single pilot, and you have your family on board or friends, and the pilot is becoming incapacitated, anybody could just push this button. And now all the displays go to like a dummy mode where basically the There's airplane will find a, the perfect spot to land. It comes in, puts Center, the flaps no, down, the gear down, and it lands all by itself to keep no, no, everybody else that was on board the plane on. safe. So that new home safe feature is amazing. We're 940 Bravo November, cleared to the Pompano Airport via direct to Gilby, then a file, climb and maintain 111,000. The Fort Myers altimeter is 2999. TVM 940 Bravo November, one one thousand at Gilby, New Orleans file. I said four thirty three to send a main. So I dialed in one one thousand and we hit the flight level change button. Now it's gonna pitch with hitting the flight level change button to 124 knots and uh, it's gonna throttle up so we get the best rate of climb up to one one thousand. Excellent. Coming up at one thousand to go. November zero, Bravo November climbing to one three thousand. One three thousand zero Bravo November. One three thousand set. Sure. Yeah, it's like a little rocket ship. If you look out there at the wing out there, you'll see we got a pretty good angle of climb. Number five fox shot pop at the center, maintain one zero thousand. Come oh, down here and look at the iPad. Go to the airport tab. We'll right. type in KPMP. Pompano Beach. 
is uh, 2999 in about and 30 we'll go seconds. go to the airport tab okay, here. Never mind. I'm going to have you on course in about a minute. You can stand by one second. And we'll get ready to set up right. for an approach if we need it. As the weather is kind of shifty uh, down there. Seneca 2118 Hotel 6000. And, and there we are leveling out at 1 tree Seneca 2118 Hotel. You can actually see the storms out there. November 9 or Gulf Papa, contact Fort Myers approach on 126.8. November 9 or 40, Bravo November, contact Miami Center 132.45. 3245, 0 Bravo November. Miami Center, TVM 940, Bravo November, 13000, direct guilty. From 940, Bravo November, Miami Center, Fort Myers, Altimeter, 2999. 2 triple nine, 0 Bravo November. Miami, and to stay ahead of this flight, we'll now get uh, the ATIS set up. Actually, we'll have Wayman monitor the ATIS on COM2, and I can now. Um, Listen to COM1 for our ATC. Okay, we'll, sp we'll split the radios. Okay. That way we, in? we can both Perfect. listen Two, and hotel golf. acknowledge any instructions as it is really busy on the radio today. All right now, Wayman's on the other radio getting the ATIS, and I'm just monitoring COM1. Direct JMAC, Delta, or Direct JMAC, Direct Kipasa, Delta 2112. All right, the wind. 125. Two information, Oscar, wind is calm. November 0, Bravo, November, descend to maintain 11,000. 11,000, TBM 0, Bravo, November. Alright, we'll start our descent here now. 1,000 set up. And we'll VS that 1,500 feet a minute. There we go. And normally with my other TBM I fly, without the auto throttle, I have to pull the throttle back so I don't over torque the engine in our descent. Well, this one's doing it automatically to compensate for that. Which actually lets you enjoy the view out the windows a little bit more because you can trust the airplane is going to make up for any of those human mistakes that would normally happen. But you still always want to monitor. Yep. Oh yeah, I can see there's some pretty big sized storms out there just south of our airport and as you look at the front window you can see the same thing matching up out the side with the clouds. That was 1,000 to go. November 0, Bravo, November, to maintain 9,000. TVM 940, Bravo, November, to maintain 9,000. Alright, going to continue around down to 9,000. And we can even turn on the onboard weather radar right down here. Weather radar, so now we can turn that on. Approach now, that little ball dome that you see on the tip of the left wing, that's the, the weather radar the on our panning out in front of us to paint any rain. Right, just sending back through 10,000 feet. And the pressurization's also all automatically operated by the airplane. We have a uh, cabin altitude of 2,500 feet. 2112, contact Miami Center, 126. And a diff fresh of 3.2 right now. That's all shown right here on the display. Wait a minute, it looks like we might be doing a little cloud surfing here. It's always yeah, fun. Yeah, it's gorgeous, huh? Magic carpet right. But we, we're timing it just right where the weather is just south of Pompano. Hopefully, ATC Miami approach will vector us just north of those little cells. Zero, zero Bravo, November, clear at Gilby, cross Gilby at maintain 4,000. Gilby, Gilby at 4,000, 0 Bravo November. All right, so we're going to cross Gilby at 4,000. Get that set up. 12, we're going to VS that down. Now I'm going to actually go back into manual mode with the uh, our airspeed. The slower you go through clouds, usually the less violent the bumps will be. Yeah, if you look down here at the iPad, you'll see that's where we are right there. You can see all those big storms. Eric, actually, now looking out the front window, I don't think we're going to really have many bumps, so we can speed it back up. November 0, Bravo November, contact Miami Approach, 126.05. 2605, TBM 940, Bravo November, good day. Miami Approach, TBM 940, Bravo November, 5000 for 4000. TBM 940, Bravo November, Miami Approach, expect the ILS. Uh, sorry, plan on doing a uh, visual approach to runway 33 at Pompano, information. Uh, Oscar's current. And if you look off the left wing, we're flying over big agricultural area of Florida out here. And out the Gilby, front is the Florida Everglades. Plus, that's, oh, so that's all the sugar cane fields. Yep. And coming up soon is Sun and Fun, beginning of April. We'll be there all week. If you guys see us around, be sure to come over and stop by and say hi. We would like to show you guys the home state system, but unfortunately that is uh, one system that we cannot test. 940 Bravo November, test. proceed direct to Opelaka for now. I'm sorry, uh, turn left direct to uh, Pompano and descend to maintain 3000. 940 Bravo November, left turn direct Pompano 3000. 
Yeah, Bravo, go past that truck. Yeah. So we're in nav go. mode, going direct to Pompano, and down to 3,000, we'll VS that down. 1,500 feet a minute. Pop, contact, eject tower, 120.9 or good day. And the auto throttle is we're pulling the throttle back right now for us. It's yep. going all the way back to 70, 68 percent. You can see it slowly moving around. Gonna go into a few little cloud later here. We'll be IMC for the moment. Oh, actually, if you look off the left wing, you'll see all those trails down there in the uh, Everglades. That's actually airboat trails down there. With all the airboats going in and out. And here we are, leveling out at 3,000 feet. Number 940, Bravo November, a deviate up to 20 degrees left of course. Up to 20 degrees left of course, zero Bravo November, thank you. And I can't really see what's out there in front of us yet, but we'll just go... 090. Uh, 090 heading just to yeah. remain clear of uh, what we yeah. see out there, some yeah, yellow... So you want to slow down to 200 knots? Yeah, that'd be good a good idea. idea. That way, these bumps are not so bad. Right. I'm sure all the viewers got their seatbelts on, so we don't have to worry about them. There we go. I set it in the Excellent. manual mode. We dialed it back to 200 knots. Good. Now it's pulling the power back for us. Excellent. We got our pulsating landing lights on out there. If you look at the end of the wing, you'll see it. We're starting to get some views out there in front of us a little bit. Try to see if we can see where that cell is. Oh yeah, now I can see this cell. We're right pointed at the edge of it out there, where that rain column is. If we go back to the onboard weather radar, see if we can uh, see it on there, Wayman. Right, that good. cell. Good idea. Here We're right is. here, ten, uh, 10 miles away. Wayman will zoom in a little bit. You're going to see a good representation of uh, yeah. that's that cell. You want right? to go left? Before? Yeah, let's go left a little more if we can, sure. if you could ask, please. Sure. Miami, uh, TVO 940, Bravo November, I'd like to know, 10 degrees to the left, please. We asked for that extra left, left, but we didn't get back to it. 6733, fighting 340 for your class. Well, it seems like the storm is mainly to our right. Yeah. Alright, so, kilo, we slowed it up. This uh, precip should not be as uh, rough since we've slowed up Number the airplane. Number 299 kilo, they're to maintain uh, 2,000. 2,000, man, and Look out the front window, you'll see now we're starting to hit that precip. Nothing like Washington. Giving a brand new airplane a good natural wash. A good free wash. Free water here. Yeah, we got some nice moderate rain here. Oh, we're coming out of that approach. Shape or enjoy. It's going to need about 5 to 10 right or left. There we go. Eight number Juliet. That wasn't too bad. Far left as you want. Alright, I'll turn 10 left, Eight number Juliet. Uh, TBM 940, Bravo November, flighting of uh, 120. TBM 940, Bravo November, right turn 120. 120 with the heading bug over here, since we're in the heading mode. There is the, starting to get some views it's of South 67, Florida. 6733, uh, contact Miami Center, 132.45, good day. TBM 940, Bravo November, to set to maintain uh, 2000. 2000, TBM 940, Bravo November. November 8, November, Juliet, heading 090, we're able. Check. And we're VSing that we'll back down. Uh, 1,000 to go. Check. TBM 0, uh, Bravo, November. Do you have Pompano in sight there, 1 o'clock, 6 months? Uh, not yet. So, Bravo, no, we'll call it as soon as it's here. It's 0, Bravo, November, send me to 1,500. 1,500, TBM, 940, Bravo, November. There we go, we got there our sight now. Huh? Okay. Uh, Pier 940 Bravo November has Pompano in sight. 940 Bravo November, you're cleared visual approach runway 33. Keep the final short, please. Contact tower 125.4. 2543 for the visual 33. I'm going to disconnect the autopilot. Auto throttle. I want to call the tower and see if uh, 28 is available. Okay. Pompano tower, TVM 940 Bravo November. On the visual 33, any chance runway 28 is available? November 940 Bravo November, Roger, continue for the visual approach runway 28, all advised by any approach. Bravo November, continue for the uh, visual 28. Alright, sounds good. So we're going to widen out here to the left, and we'll make right traffic for only 28. We'll re-engage the odd damper just so we're not yawing all around. Uh, good idea. Right Comfortable ride for the passengers. November 940 Bravo November, runway 28, number 1, cleared to land. Traffic, five miles east of your position, southbound on the shoreline, 1,200 feet to Duchess. TVM 945 November, looking for the Duchess. 
Runway Alright, so we'll get some configured here. Alright. Go under first notch flap speed. Flap yeah, below, one, below 178, first notch. And we'll be sure it also indicates. Pump on the ground, proceed via Lima, reposition indicating. approved. We're going to go gear down, gear down selected. Pompano Tower, Cherokee 2902, one series 11 out to the southwest of the officer, full stop. And gear is down, indicated. Cherokee 2902, one series Pompano Tower, report over the Now we're going to be pitching for 85 knots. Runway 33. Report over the landfill, right approach. down to runway yeah. 33. We'll stabilize 85 knots. So we just went below 122, we'll now go full flaps selected. Alright. Usually I go to Intracoastal and that's where I turn my base. Okay, perfect. Intracoastal or over the shoreline. Flap selected, uh, selected uh, and indicated. I'm going to pull the yaw damper back off now. So six, six, three, four, can get zero, on the rudder pedals. Four, Excellent. Excellent. Tower, one, two, zero, point, nine, have a great day. That's just 342. Yeah, we're looking good on our speed. Just a little bit fast, 90 knots. Beam the numbers. PBM 940 above November, runway 28, clear to land. PBM 940 above November, clear to land, runway 28. Beautiful view out the front, look at all the intercoastal with all the hey. condos and everything. We got a golf course too right here at the end of the runway. Very yeah, gorgeous. So yeah, you might have to watch out for some high flying golf balls. Got our turn to final here, looking perfect on the speed. Do they have ADSB? Oh, they, the, they show on the TCAS? On the golf balls? I don't know. Yeah. That should be a limitation for those. And we're looking good. Lining up right here on runway 28. Looking good in the speed. Runway 28 set. Beautiful speed. Power set. Looking good. I'm going to just start to ease the power back yep. to flight idle. 50 feet, pick up the nose, positive 3 degrees, bring up the nose, bring Air up the nose. There we go. Pump on the ground radio. Right stall, right. stall. There we go. Center Beautiful. line, nice smooth landing. We'll go Great landing, to Steve. The beta. Thank you, Maven. And we can just roll it down here. As we'll we're try going to your mic. Pump on the ground, clear oh, camp yeah. via Fort Lauderdale 7 departure. I should have hit Mike, but... Uh, well, let's go to the end. Let's take it let's to the end. Let's go to the end. Expect one zero thousand one zero minutes after departure. Miami departure frequency one two six. And we'll get off here at Alpha, and right off the left wing there is TBM, and that's where we're going to go into Dyer there. And we'll roll past the whole short lines here, and contact ground, and clean up the plane. There they are. As we roll one three six two, read back correct. Advise me when you're ready for taxi. TBM 0 Bravo November, going to spot 5. Affirmative, Bravo November. TBM 0 Bravo November, cross runway 6 approach end, and uh, full short of taxiway mic for that Aztec. TBM 940 Bravo November, Rambia, cross 6, hold short of mic for the Aztec. There uh, we go, here's uh, runway 6, clear to cross. Aztec 13862, runway 33, taxi via Mike and Lima. And clear on final out there. 133, taxi via Mike and Lima, Pedro Aztec. There's that Aztec out there in front of us. Gonna hold short for him. And we got the plane all cleaned up here. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that flight in a 2021 TBM 940. Wayman, thanks so much for having us on board. My pleasure, Steve. -O. It's always hey, great flying with Steve you and going, going and getting a tackle in a brand new TBM. Hey, oh, yeah, those tacos are good. Definitely, if you guys are around Central Florida, there, go to Arcadia and uh, check out the Taco Tuesdays they have. Number two nine two one zero runway three. And you can go camping there too. Plan. We just gotta make sure our wing tips are clear here. You're on the right. Keep a good eye out for that. And we're almost done. We've right. completed a successful, safe flight. It's not over until the keys are on the hook. And where do you think we should park this? Just bring it in straight over straight here. Straight over the there. Right. Yeah. We'll go right, right here. Anyway, guys, hope everybody's doing well. And we'll talk to you again someday soon. All right, shutdown checklist. Parking brake is set. Lights, turn off the strobe. Oxygen is off, fuel selector manual. Autopilot off, air conditioning off. Seats bleeder off. Uh -huh.
throttle. Gotta wait our two minutes. How are we doing? Yeah. We got our two minutes. Got minutes. All right, let's go to low idle for 15 seconds. Thank you.